think about how I'm intro these before I press record. What's going on YouTube? So, laser tripwires. If you have ever seen any sort of spy movie ever, you know the laser tripwire is a staple. One of the most used spy gadgets. Shows include Burn Notice, White Collar, Mission Impossible, James Bond, and the list goes on. Classic scene, there's a laser beam. One of the guys is about to trip it, and the other guy's like, wait, hold up. Wire. Super high-tech gadget, and today I'm going to show you how you guys can make one yourself on the cheap. All we're going to need is a few pieces that you can probably find, but relatively easy. I'll leave a parts link in the description. This is one of those builds that I think if you like spy gadgets and like spy movies, it's a really cool thing to try. I know a lot of my builds are super dangerous, but this one I'm giving a two thumbs up on. You will need a laser. Now, you can do this with several types of lasers. You can do this with like the five milliwatt lasers that you can buy like pretty much anywhere. It works with those. You could do it with really powerful lasers like, like some of the ones I have that where you can like literally see the beam always, but those are a lot more dangerous and it's kind of less practical because the person's gonna be able to see the laser. They're gonna be like, oh, probably shouldn't put my foot in it. Like something bad's gonna happen if it doesn't burn me, it's gonna make an alarm. I know they do this a lot in the movies. Cool idea, but like honestly, practicality, not very practical. So I'm gonna go middle of the road and use a moderately high powered laser. I'm um, using a green, I think like 100 milliwatt pen laser that we're gonna modify slightly to run on wall power so it can be constantly powered and will never run out of battery. And this is the type of laser I think will work best for this project. One, because it's uh, way more safe than like the two watt laser. Plus, if you get any sort of like steam or smoke, put it on the laser, the beam will show up super bright and give us that cool spy movie look that we're going for. So you can uh, pick up one of these lasers for probably about like 13 bucks online. I'll link this below. However, these do ship from uh, foreign countries. So probably gonna take a while to get to your house. Another option, if you wanna do this right now, you can order or go to the store, I think like CVS sells them. The laser like projection devices, like if you guys know what I'm saying, those are pretty common, so you can find those in stores. If you're looking to do this ASAP, just open up and remove the laser module. That laser module is pretty much the same power as uh, the one I'm gonna use. Other things you will need is an Arduino board. Again, super cheap, you can pick them up, probably around 10 bucks, links below. Or if you wanna get it in stores, I think Radio Shack sells them way overpriced. And you're also gonna need a solar garden light. Again, these can be found in stores. It's like, literally, they're so cheap. I think you can get like two for three bucks. And yeah, we're gonna be using the solar panel from that. And lastly, you're also gonna need some sort of alarm system that you wanna rig this up to. You could potentially hook this device up to whatever you want. Uh, in fact, I'll probably do more modifications on this device in the future. I might hook it up to like this airsoft gun right here. Look for this in a future video. Anyways, yes, you're going to need some sort of alarm system. So I'm using like a cheap like dollar store alarm system. Um, so pretty much there's a little magnet attached to a device. When you pull it apart, the alarm will sound. It's a really high pitched, annoying, irritating sound that will scare the shit out of anyone who uh, is not expecting it. You can house it in like a plastic or cardboard box. You're also gonna need an old USB cable, some sort of switch and just like a soldering iron and stuff to hook everything together. Okay, cue the montage of how to make this thing. So the solar panel is positive, goes to the analog zero pin, and uh, the ground just goes to ground. All right guys, so here's what we want the code to do. Uh, so ideally with this tripwire, we want it so that when the laser beam is shining on the device, nothing's happening, but as soon as the beam is broken, the alarm will go off uh, and just keep going off until someone turns it off. So to do this, we're gonna take the input voltage from the solar panel, read it through the serial monitor, and uh, whenever it dips below a certain voltage, so like when the laser stops shining on it, uh, it'll send a signal to the alarm um, to go off. 
So I'm gonna try and figure this out and I'll leave the code down in the description uh, if you wanna go download this and uh, put it on your Arduino and use it for your projects. For the alarm, we want the positive end to go to the uh, pin 13, because that's the pin that we're turning on and off, and the ground to go to ground again. So here's our laser tripwire. Uh, we've got the laser right here, attached to a USB cable, which is attached to a power brick. And this thing is not hardwired because it makes it pretty much impossible for you to disarm this thing without having the key, without knowing the uh, secret method on how to do it, which I'll explain in a minute. Uh, so we've got our laser right here, and it's shining a beam directly into our box. So inside this box, as you saw, we have a solar panel connected to an Arduino. So when light hits a solar panel, it creates a voltage, right? So the Arduino reads that voltage. Whenever that voltage dips below a certain threshold, it'll send five volts of power to the alarm continuously, and it'll go off. If you get a little smoke here, you can actually see the beam. And uh, let me just turn on the alarm real quick. So it's good right now, but as soon as you uh, break this with your hand, it'll go off. And the only way to fix it is to turn off the key. So when this thing is on, it is so hard to disable it uh, because you can't cut the power to this. If you try to move this at all, it'll go off. If you try to cut the laser power, it'll go off. So it's so difficult to disarm this without uh, the key. So the code is literally just taken from a sketch example on the Arduino program. What you want to do to calibrate this device though is, uh, is change the limiting value. Uh, so just read your solar panel when it's normal and read the solar panel when the laser is shining on it and uh, calibrate the values such so, so that whatever number it is when the laser is shining on it is higher than your trigger value. Um, so then when it dips below the trigger value, the alarm will go off. And if you take this outside or use it inside wherever you're using it, uh, you might have to recalibrate it, but that's not too big of a deal. got the device set up right here. As you can see, we've got the laser beam right behind me uh, going over to the receiver module right there. Set up the actual laser module over on the shelf there. Uh, and I also made my makeshift uh, smoke machine. Just a couple candles and uh, some fog liquid to just really illuminate this uh, laser beam right here. So we've turned on the key. Uh, it is active and uh, if we break this beam at all, it'll go off and the alarm will sound. So if this beam wasn't so illuminated by the smoke, you wouldn't be able to see it. Obviously, I'm just doing this for effect. You would be able to see this beam and you just carelessly walk through it like this. 
Oh, I wonder what's going on over here. Oh shit. It works. Thumbs up. But just set up something really cool. Um, I call it the wall of lasers. Now, yes, I am aware that this is complete overkill, but uh, had to do it though in honor of uh, Mission Impossible and all the other spy movies that do this type of stuff, like the classic grid of lasers, and then they try and like climb through it, like without setting it off. Like this is really, honestly, at this point, this is just more for me. Plus, I need a thumbnail, so I'm gonna go try and crawl through that, and see how this goes. Ah. Uh. This one, this one's gonna be tough to get through. Uh, am, I, am I Tom Cruise yet? Mission Impossible. All right, screw it. I failed. All right guys, well that pretty much concludes this video. If you did like it, obviously hit that thumbs up button and uh, let me know down in the description what you would use this device for. Um, I have to say I am pretty proud of this build. There's pretty much no way you can disable this without the key. Um, except obviously if you shine a super bright light into this and then carefully take it apart and then open it up and then cut the wires um, But like that's super hard to do because they won't know how I designed it unless of course they watch this video Which of course they will because because you know everyone should be subscribed to Jayla's video But uh, let me know down in the description what uh, you would use this for and uh, what are the cool stuff I should attach to this uh, in like future projects all the parts list are in the description along with my Instagram go follow that and uh that's all I've got for this video, guys. Take it easy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.